Mongrel recently showed off all of his updated Fortnite settings on stream, so I thought we'd go ahead and check them out. If you want more videos, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Starting off with his video settings, his windowed mode is on full screen, his resolution is on the native 1920 by 1080 his V-Sync is off, his frame rate limit is at 240 FPS to match his monitor's hertz, and his rendering mode is on performance mode. He's also got his brightness on 90% and his colorblind mode on Deuteronope strength number 3. He's also got his view distance on far, which helps him see items at a longer distance. His textures are on low and his meshes are on low as well. For his game settings, he's got toggle sprint on. He's using hold jump, he's using press jump, and he's also got hold to swap pickup off. For his disable pre-edit option, he's not using that, that's disabled. And he's got his auto confirm edits on none, which means he has to manually do it each time. For his hood options, he is not using reticle ammo indicator. His damage numbers is on list, so he has to manually add up the damage dealt. He's also got his reticle damage feedback on hit only which looks like this on screen and his damage number scale is on 90%. Furthermore he's got his hood scale on 54% and all the rest of these options are pretty much on the default. Next we've got his mouse sensitivities, his X and Y are both on 9%. His targeting is on 33.3% along with his scope sense and he's got both of his building and editing sensitivities on 100%. By the way, all of these are on a mouse DPI of 800 and if you want to know why he uses a high mouse DPI, I recommend this video on screen. I believe he's also got his mouse hertz on 1000 which is what a lot of pros use and along with that, I'm pretty sure in Windows he's using the default mouse sensitivity and he's also got mouse acceleration disabled. Next up, we've got his move Movement and he is using the custom diagonal controls. He's got his forward diagonal angle on 71%, his strafe angle on 90% and his backward diagonal angle on 135. Next up we've got his sound or audio settings. Now for his volume sliders these are all personal preference however for his sound quality that is on high and I believe he's also using visualized sound effects. Moving on, we've got his key binds. His crouch is on left control. His sprint is on V. His reload is on middle mouse button. His harvesting tool is on Q. His slot one is on two. His slot two is on E. His slot three is on R. His slot four is on four. And his slot five is on X. For his building, he's got his wall on mouse button five. His floor is on his third mouse button, or rather his DPI button. And that is configured to N, even though it really isn't on N. His stairs is on mouse button four. His roof is on shift. And his trap is on C. He's also got his repair slash upgrade on one. His rotate building on five. And his building edit is on F. Moving on to his peripherals, his mouse is the Logitech G402. For his mouse pad, I think that's the Glorious Triple XL. His keyboard is the SteelSeries Apex Pro Tenkey Less 2023. His main monitor is the BenQ Zowie XL2546K. And I believe for his second monitor, he's using the LG Ultra Gear. His headset is the HyperX Cloud Alpha in the wireless. His desk is an adjustable sit slash stand desk, which I don't know exactly what the name is. And his chair is the Herman Miller Aeron, which by the way, if you're curious of what his setup currently looks like, here it is on screen. And finally, we've got his PC specs. His case is the PC-011. His processor is an Intel Core i9. His GPU is an RTX 1490. His motherboard is the MSI Meg. His RAM is the Corsair Vengeance Pro 32GB. He's also got a high-end SSD, the Corsair RM1000X power supply. Moving on, here are some additional settings you should be using to increase your FPS and lower your ping. So starting off in the Epic Games Launcher, you want to head to the top right into the settings, then scroll down to where it says desktop notifications and simply disable show free games and show news and special offers as these can cause FPS stutters when they're pushed out. So it's best to disable both of them. After that, you can scroll down slightly and open up Fortnite. You can tick the additional command line box and you can put in these three different commands if you'd like. Although I have heard that they don't actually do anything this season but I like to just try them anyway. Next, in the library where you see Fortnite, click on it and then go into the options. And inside here, you want to uncheck high-res textures for a slight FPS boost. You want to uncheck DirectX 12 shaders as we're going to use performance mode. And I 
also recommend using the pre-downloaded stream assets as this can help you big time with ping. You can also go into the Epic Games Launcher folder on Windows inside that engine file right there and actually paste in this command that I'll have in the description below. And what this does is it increases your download speeds on the Epic Games Launcher so you'll download game updates way faster than before. Next, on your desktop, press Windows key and R, then type in percentage sign local app data. Then you want to press F, scroll down until you find Fortnite game and this right here is what we're going to be resetting. We're essentially going to delete it but if you're a bit worried about that you can make it back up but I'm just going to go ahead and go straight for it and literally press the delete button and just like that it's been deleted and the reason for this is it gets rid of all the old outdated files and replaces them with brand new ones. If you scroll down to the Fortnite game folder you'll see it's reappeared with brand new fresh settings. Just go inside of it then go into saved then config then Windows client and here is your fresh game user settings config file. So if you slowly scroll down until you get to these global illumination quality settings you want all of these on zero just change them from one to zero another thing i recommend disabling is the energy saving modes apparently these can give you a slight fps boost so you want to change both of these to false if you can if you scroll down you will find the scalability groups now the resolution quality i do highly recommend using um, 100 as this will give you the best quality some people do lower this value slightly if they want more fps view distance i talked about earlier i like having that on a higher one and then for all of these settings right here they should be on zero so for shading quality, go ahead and turn that off. Same with foliage quality. And then you want landscape quality off too. I believe that's a new setting. But all of these off or on zero should give you more FPS. After, don't forget to click file and then save. Oh, as well, inside the Epic Games launcher, I also like to verify the files to make sure these are all good for the brand new chapter. Next, we've got the best Windows settings. Inside the control panel under the privacy setting, you want to uncheck all four of these right here. Then if you go into the background applications, you want to simply uncheck all of these and stop them from running in the background. After that, in the advanced system settings go under performance then under visual effects you want to adjust for best performance and then tick these essential settings on screen after that i like to go into the device manager under high precision event timer and some people say that if you disable this it can boost your fps it's something you should try and if not just re-enable it i also like to go into the run box and type in temp i then like to select all of these and simply delete them i do this again with percentage sign temp percentage sign and yet again with prefetch also while the game is running, I press Control Alt Delete, go into the Task Manager, and then find Fortnite, right click on it, go to Details, then right click on the top EXE, set the priority from the default normal to high. Oh, if you go into Gaming 2, specifically under the Game Bar, you want to ensure that that is turned off as it can give you micro stutters. As well, in the search, if you type in Power Plan, click Edit Power Plan, then change Advanced Settings, you'll notice by default it's on a normal power plan. Instead, you want to change that to High Performance, which as you can imagine, will make it perform at a higher level. Next, we've got the best NVIDIA settings. Now, straight away, I recommend using the latest driver. It's something Epic Games themselves recommend. Alternatively, you can use an older driver like any of these legendary ones on screen. After that, though, if you go inside your NVIDIA control panel, then click use advanced 3D image settings and simply use all of these that have been optimized on screen in this video right here. Next, we've got the best network settings. Straight away, you want to update your network drivers to make sure these are the latest ones available. Then want to go into your network settings and basically set them up like I've got on screen. These are essentially the best network settings you can use. Just make sure to copy one for one what I'm using on screen right now. After that, you can use the lowest ping DNS server, which Epic Games themselves recommend. Just go into your network settings as shown on screen. Then in the DNS section where you put the address, you can put in a custom one. And to find out which one is the best one for you, you can use DNS benchmark or you can type in this command on screen inside the CMD and that's pretty much it for Mongrel's Fortnite setup. If the video helped out feel free to drop a like on it, drop a sub to the channel and I'll catch you all in the next one. Feel free to check out these other videos on screen right now.